Hey guys, welcome back to Mountain Dog Companion. Thanks for tuning in again. Today we're gonna to be talking about Kate Slitter here. Everyone's doing great. They're about seven weeks old right now. Um, about six and a half, seven weeks old. Coming along very, very well. Each one of these guys is fully furnished. You can see the beautiful round head, nice puffy um, hair around the face and really nice uh, furnishings on the legs as well. So gonna be talking about these guys here just talking a little bit personality more about markings compared to personality but we'll get into it a little bit on that end uh, the ones that I have out right now uh, with me are actually uh, three out of the four are spoken for right now so um, right here at the beginning of the video is more of an um, an update for you guys just to give you a good idea of um, how they're doing and how they're coming along and just give you a really good update. So you can kind of see how they interact, how they're hanging out, um, just having a good time. So uh, starting off here, I'll start with uh, Cliff. Cliff is medium, maybe a little bit on the smaller side, definitely not the smallest, um, but beautiful coat. He's got a really nice, um, cur he just wants to play right now, but a really nice um, full coat, really full, uh, hair on his face and then a really nice um, Really nice markings there on the back got the white sock socks front and back the tan points on the legs and some white on his face as well So a beautiful little burning burning doodle to start off things here uh, These guys are traditional tricolor pups and are doing very well um, Seem to be coming along great and everyone just seems super healthy. They've been doing great with the weaning process everyone's just coming along very well. Okay guys, next up here is Cora. Uh, Cora is a big girl of the group. She was actually picked by uh, pick number one here on this litter. Super, super sweet girly. A little bit more on the laid back side when it comes to personality. Uh, super, super sweet. She's got the beautiful full coat, just like each one of these guys. Nice round head, really nice furnishings on the legs, on the face. Beautiful markings for her as well. You got the nice white hand on the side and these colorings should stick so this should be a very neat look for you here as she progresses and grows older and kind of gets rid of that puppy coat and into her adult coat um, so should be pretty pretty neat I think I got tip here um, come here guys yeah what's up bud this here is Kane uh, Kane's a little bit on the smaller side again very similar to Kip uh, just a little bit smaller than Cora, but a really neat look. Maybe a little bit more um, of maybe a touch straighter of a coat, um, if anything, but it's not not much of a difference. Really full coat, really nice round head, beautiful furnishings, nice markings front and back. Just really cute little guy. Um, and he's pretty outgoing. He's relatively active, not super crazy, like he's not bouncing off walls or anything like that. Not going crazy, but he's a little bit more outgoing, a little bit more energetic. Um, he is also spoken for, so um, yeah, doing very well. So again, that's Kip, or sorry, Kane. Um, and then we got one more boy here. Okay guys, so we got one more boy over here. You can see him hanging out. He's just out there roaming around. Uh, but I'll talk a little bit about him. Um, beautiful coat, you can see that nice full furnished coat and just a really neat look there for him. I love his tan points, they really pop for him. Um, they really stand out quite a bit. Come here, bud. What's up, bud? What's going on? Yeah, you can see those tan points really pop for him. Really neat look there for him. You got the nice white face. Um, if you're curious about that nose, it will turn completely black or it should turn completely black. You can see he's a little bit wet in the, in the, on the feet. So you're seeing a little bit more of a darker look there for you. But beautiful coat, beautiful face, super, super sweet little guy. Maybe a little bit more on the independent side. Uh, maybe a little bit more going out and about doing his own thing. But he gets along very well with his litter mates, does great. Loves people, loves, loves interaction, just very very sweet and very fun to be around. This letter has been absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, that's it for these guys and we'll keep on rolling. Hey guys, so moving on here, we got Cassie. Uh, she is the smallest girl here in the bunch. Um, has a, probably the most white, honestly, in the whole litter. 
Still got that beautiful coat going, really nice markings, beautiful tan coming down. Um, just a really neat look. She's a lover girl. She's more just wants to be held, wants all the attention. Um, she's just super sweet. You can see she's, she probably won't go too far. Um, she's just more very, very chill, very attentive. Um, just super, super sweet as well. So again, that's Cassie. Uh, moving on, this is Kim here. Kim is also one of the smaller girls, but a little bit more outgoing compared to Cassie. Um, a little bit more energetic. Super fun though, kind of similar to Cassie when it comes to being uh, just very human, um, interactive, and just um, driven in that direction. But super sweet little girly, also on the smaller side. A little bit less white compared to Cassie, so, but you still got that beautiful tan, nice, nice white socks front and back, and white on the face as well. Beautiful look, really nice coat as well. Uh, nice and fluffy, just a really neat look there for her. Um, you can see she'll just hang out here with me. Everyone else is over here just hanging out. See if I can tell everyone apart. I think we got Kobe here, right here. Let's see if I can grab him real quick. What's up, bud? So this is Kobe. He's probably got the most straight hair out of the group. So you can see it's a little bit straighter. It's not bad at all. Um, it's still a very dense coat. Um, just a little bit straighter, so if you're looking for a straight, wavy coat, this might be it for you. Um, you got the nice white tip tail. He is a little bit more energetic, a little bit more outgoing. Um, super sweet, though. So you got the nice white socks. Hey, bud. Uh, nice white socks, nice white face, beautiful white tip tail, and just a very neat little guy. So he is more energetic, or a little bit more so. Um, and this here is Kilo. Kilo is pretty chunky. He's got a very thick coat, very dense, um, and beautiful curls, wavies, waves going on here. Really neat look. A little bit less weight. Nice socks front or in the back there. A little bit less weight on the front, maybe just a little bit there. Nice weight on the chest. Beautiful white face and nice tan for him. Um, he's pretty chill overall too. He absolutely loves being held. Um, but very sweet. A little bit more on the chill side, if anything, for him. Um, but easy to get along. Loves attention. Just like each and every puppy here. See, he just wants his belly rubbed. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Super sweet little guy. Again, that's Kilo. And then we have... Help me out, Krista. Okay. I was missing one name. Mm -hmm. And... But yeah, super sweet little guy. He's got some of my favorite markings overall. Um, I really like the Swiss kiss on the back. So you got a nice white spot in the back. Beautiful white on the face. Just very nice traditional markings for him. Really neat coat as well. Pretty thick, pretty dense. Uh, not too curly, not too straight. Really neat look and he's got a little bit of a pink nose as well. He's really middle of the road when it comes to personality. So he's not crazy he's not outgoing he's not or he's not like just going crazy or anything but he's also not just gonna hang out he's not super super laid back he's just very easy to get along with very middle of the road gets along great with his litter mates and just does great overall so again guys this is Kate's litter here of F1 Bernadoodles they're about six six weeks old six and a half weeks old right now doing very well coming along great you can kind of see how they're growing here we did pictures just recently and they're up on the website there are three puppies spoken for out of this litter which we kind of talked about at the beginning of the video and the rest of these pups every puppy here right now um, in this part a portion of the video is available um, there was one puppy at the beginning of the video that was available so if you have any questions for me feel feel free to comment below feel free to reach out to us here um, at Mountain Dog Companion, we do keep the website up to date. We keep everything rolling. Um, we do have an Instagram page as well if you want to check that out. It's Mountain Dog Companion on Instagram. We try and post a couple times a day just to keep everyone up to date on how the pups are doing. But if you guys have, guys have any questions for me, my name is Jay Miller. My number is 330-234-0102. Feel free to call or text me anytime, and I'll be glad to help you out. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.